Hello people of the web and YouTube, this is here. welcome back to Hack Time! Whoa! So okay guys, as you can clearly tell, today's video is gonna be, well, fairly quite a bit different. I'm actually in my own place for once, and with that said, sorry if the sound is kinda all over the place, I don't really have my room kinda finished yet, and I will be soundproofing that room in the future, but right now this is the safest room to record in, so I figured I'd record here in my kitchen. And as you could probably already tell by the name of the video, I'm gonna be reviewing, well, DC the DC Step Up Boost Converters, and with that said, let us just get to this thing. So okay guys, forgive the awkward setup, but here it is. This is the first DC to DC Step Up Boost Converter, although I believe the eBay listing for this may have had this module mislabeled, because so far with it, I have only been able to, well, step down the voltage, aka, let's say, make 5 volts down to 3, 2, 1 volt, vice versa, that kind of deal. So this thing is capable of stepping down up to 35 volts, to any lower voltage under 35 volts. So if you want 12 volts from a 24 volt system, you can just plug in your 24 volt system on this end, and outside from this end here on the output, you will get your 12 volts. Once you adjust a little potentiometer there, I'll try to get a closer look on it. It is fairly hard to turn, so don't expect to accidentally bump that thing and change your voltage and fry whatever it is you're working with. Just trust me here, this thing, it's fairly easy to use. So, okay guys, as you can see here, I have this thing hooked up in a kind of jerry-rigged manner where I just hooked this up to my USB power bank here. Although, I normally have this step-down converter hooked up to an old DVD player battery that I have reused from a broken DVD player that's portable for like in a car, you know, one of them portable DVD player things. I took the battery apart, drilled some holes in it, put my own terminals on it, and then I put some terminal ring connectors here on the end. And I usually have this thing velcroed onto my battery pack, but as you can see, since that battery pack's temperamental and I don't want to be carrying it back and forth between this house and my parents' house, I figured I'd leave that at home. So yeah, with that said, excuse the jerry rig setup and if this thing happens to flicker on and off, it's because I don't have a good connection. But yeah, with that said, let us test out the modes if this board will stay indeed active. As you can see, I am putting three watts, no, not three watts, three volts into this little 2.4 volt Christmas LED. It's a little bit high, but it shouldn't hurt it at all. And I quite like it when it's a little bit brighter. And if it ever burns out, I mean, I have a whole string of these that went bad. I can just easily replace it with another bulb. But yeah, as you can see, it's working fairly well. I'm not gonna change the potentiometer, but trust me, it does work. And no matter how hard you try, you cannot boost this thing past the voltage going in. So if you put five volts in, you're not gonna get 12 volts out. However, with this connector here that I'm about to show off in a minute, if you put five volts in, this thing will boost up to 12 or nine volts, I believe. And as I can remember from the eBay lister that I bought this from, they do send the wrong one out sometimes, so if you get a 9 volt instead of a 12, just message them and they will gladly send you another one, I guess. But yeah, with that said, let's plug this thing in and see what we can do. So, okay guys, here we are, but before I get to actually plugging this thing in, I do want to state this. I highly recommend not using this with a device capable of only providing one amp. If your power pack says it can provide three or up to two amps, you should be pretty much good to go, but if you do this in a one amp, well, USB power supply, there is a chance that you will short it, and the most easiest way to fix that if that happens, because most battery packs come with some kind of protection in them to prevent over discharge, is to just recharge them again in the USB port should work good as new. I've only had this happen one time, but that's because the pack wasn't listed as one amp at the time. It was obviously mislabeled. This one, however, can provide the stable two amps all the way up to three amps, so I'm just gonna plug this device into the tablet slot, which is a three amp charge port, and as you can see, it lights up, and now if I put this down on the other end, we should get a stable 12 volts, and to prove that, I brought my 3D pen here, and if you guys have ever used one of these and tried to undervolt them, you'd hear a terrible noise in the motor, but if I were to power this thing up right now, you will see it will reach a stable 198 degrees in the same amount of time it would if I were to plug it in the wall, and plus, 
the motor won't have that incessable whine that it normally does if you undervolt it. And because undervolting is so bad and potentially can damage the motor in here, you really need a stable 12 volts to actually use one of these things. And I have to say, this thing has not disappointed me yet. Although it does heat up my battery pack just a little bit and the actual unit itself here does in fact heat up a little bit but that's to be expected considering it's boosting 5 volts all the way up to 12 or around 9 give or take because like I said the seller for this actually sells the 9 and 12 volt version but sometimes they get mixed up in shipping so be sure to make sure you specify for 12 when you get this thing or else you're going to get the wrong one. But yeah, anyway guys, let me just load the filament up into my pen. And as you can hear, the motor sounds fine. That's how it should normally sound. And if you ever watched any of my 3D pen videos, you will know that's how it's supposed to sound also. But yeah, anyway, here I'm just going to let the filament feed through. And you will see as it reaches the bottom, it will start sprueing out. And I did in fact just burn myself there. Don't do that. As you can see, there it is. Come out just at a normal speed and it's not gonna stop. It only ever stops maybe after about 10 or to five minutes, but that's pretty much normal on the 3D pen in general, because once more filament comes out, it cools off and it eventually has to heat back up to that temperature. But considering what this thing is doing, I am thoroughly impressed and highly recommend you guys to check this out if you have any circuits in which you want to use a stable 12 volts for it. Now. My other use for this though, before I leave the video off, is I plan to use this to power up some um, bike likes from my bicycle. Now, since I can plug this into 5 volts, I can easily tape a, a cheap 5 volt um, battery pack to the side of my bike, get a cheap little cob light, get a female to male connector for this end, and I should be able to have my bike work at night which will be very handy for making trips up to this house in order to record some videos. But with that said, that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Like I said, if things were all over the place today, forgive me. I will only get better as time goes on. But yeah, with that said, till I get the phone boards up in my room, I'm probably going to be stuck to making videos out here just in order to not disturb any of the neighbors or anything because I do get kind of loud when I make these things. But yeah, guys, like I said, um, I will be doing further reviews on these step-up boost converters as I get them. I have another two arriving in the mail, and so far I gotta say, I had a 50-50 chance, and it, one, one of the devices worked, the other one didn't work as advertised, and I have to say, if you plan to get these things, get a few of them in bulk, they're really cheap, and, and if it doesn't happen to work, at least you'll have a chance that the next one will. But yeah, guys, like I said, that's pretty much it for today's video. GTPK signing off. Peace. Shoo. Aw, oh, that. Aw, oh, double whammy. God damn it. Okay, let's do this fast. It didn't really turn out too great, and the video I took here is not the greatest thing ever. My 3D pen was...